Hello all and welcome to another video in my journey to 1 million gamer score and it's time to bring you the final part of 2019 and round up the last amount of gamer score that I got in 2019 it's time to bring to you December part 2 and with the end of 2019 happening I can bring to you some sort of end of year stats now I did start the year on exactly 250,000 gamer score minus 40 I got today on the date of recording uh, we'll get to why I did that in a minute, and I have earned the most game score I've ever in a year. I've earned 200,520 games got in a year, which is a new personal best. So how did I get it? Well, I got it playing 286 games, 170 of those were completions, and I earned a total of 4,380 four achievements in the process so all in all not a bad year at all very pleased with that especially as it kind of slowed up a little bit towards the end i did start off very well one month i hit a personal best of four a month which i doubt will never say never but i doubt will be topped so let's go on with the games and round up the end of 2019 and show you what i got in december part two and we will kind of start in chronological order because the game at the top was actually the game that should be at the bottom if we are going chronological order. But the first game we're going to talk about is Mushroom Quest. Now this is a cutesy little puzzle game. It's top down and you move your little character around to collect keys and you do it by pressing buttons, walking over paths that can only be walked over once. It is a nice little puzzle game. Now this can be done well easily under an hour with a guy but I decided to do this one without a guide and I spent a couple of hours with it one night and did it without a guide so it's not too difficult to to do without a guide and if you do it with a guide there are plenty of them on YouTube you can get this done in half an hour because obviously you're just punching in the solutions but yes I actually enjoyed this and had a lot of fun with it so that is why I was quite happy to do it and stick with doing the puzzles myself without any help so yes a nice real easy completion there in Mushroom Quest Yes, played a little bit of Gears Pop, nothing new to add there. Above that is another game which I had uh, quite a little bit of fun with as well, and that is Iro Hero. And this is a top-down vertical shooter, and you can change your ship's colours by pressing the LB button uh, between red and blue, and you have to be the opposite colour of the enemy in order to destroy them, and you have to be the same colour as the enemy's bullets to absorb them. That was the last achievement I got when it when it came to getting the achievement completion for this because I wasn't quite understanding how you could absorb over 100 bullets in a playthrough and that was because you need to be the same colour as the bullets for them not to damage you if they're the, if they're the opposite colour they will damage your ship now this is a real easy completion you will need to get to the second level of story mode in order to face a certain type of enemy which you need to kill for an achievement but this one can be done in no time at all it's certainly in under an hour Jobby, you might struggle with the first world boss for a bit perhaps and need a few run throughs there but the one thing I did notice about this game is that within about a minute maybe even two minutes of playing I'd, I'd unlock 200 G like off the bat straight away from the very generous easy achievements that you can get out of this but it's not a difficult completion at all it's not an expensive game either so it's definitely a good little one to boost the game score and it was fun too it was not a chore Okay, above that is Trouble Pursuit Live. This is one that's been in my back catalogue for quite some time. I found it just quite easy to sit down and play without any real effort for a while. And the achievements in it, obviously, I think you get um, some for answering 50 questions within a category. I think I'm only missing one category, which is Art and Lit, he says. So I will be, yeah, Art and Lit. So I will be popping back to that. As you'll see, the achievements in this do track. I should play it a bit more because... I may hopefully get 30 titles by putting a bit of more time into it and obviously winning 25 game shows as well you can turn the AI down to easy so that won't be a problem in winning games and that should be well, easy to do and if I have the controllers I have one short if you need four controllers and then this one here is the tricky one because some of the rounds you basically need the computer to get an answer wrong so they're out of it in order for you to get all eight options within within a grid if you get that round there is a way of doing it with controllers and extra controllers that is and against yourself basically so that you can answer wrong and then pick up the up uh, the answers with your main controller only player one profile unlocks achievements so but that's all we need so Yes, I've put a lot of time into this actually. I've probably put about two or three hours into this and it's something I can just pop back to 
and certainly nick that 50 yard unlit questions and win the game shows and hopefully get the titles okay above that we need to give some credit here to the good people of achievement squad i use their guide for this the guide run time that they've got is half an hour if you allow for pausing you should still get this job done in under an hour it's a bang on guide and basically airy is little bird adventure you are this bird and you have to pick up all the feathers that are hidden within each level in order to progress on to the next one or even to, sorry to unlock the achievements i believe you can pick all levels from the start it's okay it's not the most expansive of games this gameplay isn't varied beyond what it is from the beginning but it was alright. It's not the worst game I've played this year by a long shot. And it, for what it was, for the time I spent with it, it was it was fun enough, shall we say. So yes, the good people of Achievement Squad, their guide is say it's half an hour long. You can find it in my playlist of guides I c have used and can vouch for with 100% success. Uh, something like that is named. But yes, you can find it in there. So thank you very much again, the good people of Achievement Squad, for a bang on guide. There are other people that have made guides for this. There's one just cropped up first. So yes, very well done, guys. Great work. Above that, this one popped up in the sounds. This one is a side scrolling shoot em up. And I do like my side scrolling shoot em ups. But you will have to put a little bit of practice into this one, especially to get the carav caravan mode. Uh, top bracket there even though it is not a rare achievement I did find myself needing multiple practice runs at that in order to get through the first level with only losing at least one life so that I could get to 50,000 points and get a bonus at the end of the level and then you still need to kill a few enemies at the start of the second level the only one I'm missing I think is the high score mode for 80,000 points I can probably get that with a little bit of practice or actually a lot more practice to be honest with you because obviously you are still limited to the three lives but you've just got to get even further basically than you do in the caravan mode obviously it's higher point total i'm stating the obvious here so the other thing to note is that the top bracket in the normal mode the original mode is there is it's 400,000 points you do lose your points if you use a continue so the way around that is to change it down to level one to make it easy and you could also adjust your lives to 99 that should be ample to get that one the completion is i say is doable for me but i will need a little bit more practice at the last level if i want to indeed return to the game the 900 that i have got because of the practicing to get that top caravan mode bracket achievement I think I spent probably somewhere between two and three hours with this game one night. But I like my size squad, I'm shooting them up, so it wasn't a chore for me. Okay, so above that we have Pixel Devil and the Broken Cartridge. Now, I'd heard this was an easy completion. None of the achievements are rare. What I have got was frustrating. I found the platforming in this very... The hit detection and basically the, the, the quality of the platforming is just not as polished. I mean, I know it's an indie game, but it's... It's, it's way off for me. It wasn't fun at all, unfortunately. And the two that I'm missing, I will probably leave now because it will take me a while to earn them. And they are for defeat five different bosses. And that achievement there is for defeating the final boss as well, which is in the middle of islands that you unlock after you do all the other four islands. And apart from that, these PD coins are absolutely littered everywhere, so they are super easy as well. That will be one of the first achievements you get. When you kill enemies, sometimes they drop health. Pick one of those up, you'll unlock that. I mean, what I did do, what I did get, sorry, without the, going for those last two, that 700, that did take me a couple of hours. And to be honest with you, I'm done with it. I d I'm not enjoying it enough to go back and, and grind that out. Okay, next up we have Himno. Now this is a Rasalika game that's been out for a while that I'd missed. And as I say, I did actually intend, by the way, to carry on my Pez cheap game experiment, which is why we will talk about one in a minute. But because I was approaching the 450,000 mark and 200,000k game score for the year, as you can see, I veered away from that and, and targeted some easy completions and some easy game score quickly in about three or four days that I had left, purely because I, I'd run away on holiday, so I did lose about four to five days worth of gaming. So that's why I did this, people. But the Pez games will return at the beginning of next year. In fact, they already have a little bit. We'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, Hymno, very easy completion. You have to basically get to six districts, I think it is, in one run, I think, to unlock one achievement. You have to jump quite high in one level. I think 60 feet in the air in one level 
two, get another achievement, and you have to jump so many times, dash so many times, visit 30 different districts, that doesn't have to be one playthrough, but when I was going for it, and just amassing them by getting as many as I can, then when I, I died, uh, and starting again, I then read an achievement guide on true achievements for the individual achievement, apparently you can just go in and out of one door 30 times, so I started doing that, and I was only three out when I did it, so the solution on true achievements for that one does work. Uh, there's one for dying as well, not a difficult completion at all. Once you get the the, the hand, get, get uh, the grasp of the mechanics of the game with the uh, jumping and the dashing, it's not, not difficult at all. Like 10 torches in one run as well, that ain't going to be hard either. So yes, didn't even spend an hour with this game. Super easy completion and it's it's not a great game. It's not a rubbish game, it's just a bit of a meh game to be on the super. But not a difficult one at all, no guide at all needed for this, as I say, once you get the hang of that mechanic. Okay, above that is a game I picked up in the cell about a month ago or so. They've been sitting there a while, Quantic Pinball. Now this was actually a lot of fun. I bought it at the same time as I bought that zombie pinball game from uh, a couple of videos ago. And I basically have all the achievements in this game that aren't rare. The two I am missing that are rare are worth 140 G each and are difficult. You'll get an achievement for finishing all the tables. And if you start on the very first table, you actually move you straight onto the second one with whatever balls you've lost going forward into that second table. And there's an achievement for basically making it through all of the tables basically in one run, which is one of the difficult achievements. The other difficult achievement is for finishing this or staying into wave 30 in this space invaders game which is which is super hard because if the run of the ball just ain't there the clock will run out and if the clock runs out you don't just lose a ball it is game over so sadly that one is difficult as well as suggested there by the low percentage unlock rate but they, as you'll see i unlock the table unlock the table complete that table um <laughs> this little feature comes up during the table sometimes where you control a little cannon and you have to shoot the space invaders to come down the table and if you manage to do that or kill them all as it says there you'll get this achievement here that's not too difficult at all complete the delver table unlock all tables now the good thing about this is if you're struggling with a table it says on the table to unlock this table either beat the previous one or just play the previous one ten times so if you are struggling you will you will just unlock it unlock them by playing them and get a nice hundred year achievement uh, complete that table as well Trigger multiple in the special level, that's that Space Invaders one where you have to try and get to wave 30. And if you want to get that amount of score in one level, I suggest you keep practicing that Space Invaders sort of side game because that is very generous on the points and that is where that one unlocks. I had a little break from that because I was struggling with the final table and then I was able to beat the final table and get 720 out of 1000G, leaving the two difficult achievements behind. And to be honest with you, I did all that in a couple of hours, so it's quite friendly and quite generous actually with that 720 if you're just prepared to play enjoy the pinball you know except sometimes the run of the ball doesn't go for you and yeah have a little bit of skill and timing and that's about it i didn't really know how to get beyond the table um, with regards to what unlocks the ramp to get out of there but it, it eventually it did just happen okay so above that we have pairs 2013 and I did say at the end of my last video when I'd only locked two very basic achievements that I would do a little bit more towards this. And obviously I have. I decided after I got these two achievements here to then win the Champions League which unlocked that 60G. And then I decided to do the Copa Santander Libertadores as well and win that. I had actually just made it through the round 16 and not won it. As you'll see that unlocked today, the 1st of January 2020. And that is for a reason, uh, one of my goals for next year is what that has been the only achievement I've unlocked today. I haven't had a lot of time. Unfortunately, I did go out last night. Yes, I am a little worse for wear. But so yes, so I was going to say the Copa Santander Libertadores has its own game mode. You don't have to enter a league or anything like that. And so does the Champions League. They both have their own modes. So this morning, or this evening even, I just this morning I decided that my target for this year for this year 2020 is to unlock at least one achievement a day. I mean I was well on for that and towards the latter part of the year in 2019, but this year I really want to do it and that will also keep me focused on my gamer score. 
and making sure that I get a little bit of game time in with what has to now be daily. So knowing that I hadn't quite unlocked that achievement for winning that cup, I decided to do that today and play about five more games. I was in the quarterfinals. Everything's two legs. Even the final was two legs, so it was six games I needed to win today. So we did that today. I unlocked that 40 g achievement, which is rare as well, which that surprises me. And that is my achievement for January the 1st. And yes, I will be playing every day and trying to lock achievement every day for the remainder of the year. I was saying that in the very first day of it, isn't that? Isn't that quite funny? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that does bring me to the end of rounding up 2019. Now, I um, just want to thank everyone for coming along and being part of the journey. A lot of people decide to follow me on Xbox Live. My subscriber count has gone up. These videos, they get over 100 views now every time nearly which totally flatters me i'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that so it's just a big thank you to everyone that's watched commented liked asked a question follow me on xbox subscribe to me here m maybe hit the notification bell done all of that literally i've enjoyed myself so much and as i say i get a buzz out of getting game score and i get just as much buzz helping other people get game score it is just a little bit of a kick for me in my gaming so ladies and gentlemen that does just leave me to thank you very much for watching and as always take care